Hello, everyone. Can you hear me from here? Okay, that's good. It looks like you guys are so down and tired and exhausted already. Just cheer up, smile, and pay attention. I'll be brief, okay? I won't waste much of your time. Anyways, as you heard before, my name is Ngosi. I'm from Zimbabwe, and I'm a sixth year medical student. And I'm super glad that I've had this opportunity to uh, give up this presentation or just present this lecture to you so as to, you know, help you and get to engage you into knowing about how I exactly prepared for the iPhone exam. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is that I will brief you on how uh, the online videos are supposed to be used and then afterwards I will uh, explain to you what review textbooks are and give examples and uh, at the end of it all I'm going to give you a summary as to how you're supposed to join the resources together and use them in harmony so you can ace iPhone okay so the first resource is the online med ed videos online med ed videos online med ed videos are videos that were produced by dustin williams and secondly we have the kaplan videos right right so for the videos i'll start off with kaplan as you can see that's the kaplan logo what is kaplan are there any of you that know what kaplan is you do that's good all right, so Kaplan, it's a series of medical videos that prepare one for the USMLE as well as the iPhone. As you know, I know Ashraf explained to you the differences between USMLE and iPhone. You should know that these two exams are like brothers, but the iPhone is the little brother. So even though it's the little brother, you would have to prepare for iPhone as if you are preparing for the USMLE. It's better that way, okay? So why Kaplan, right? The Kaplan videos are internationally accredited, right? So the information that they give when it comes to uh, the medical sector is accurate, it's on point, it's up to date, right? Kaplan is also informative and bulky, which means it can be used to prepare for classes, right? So when you're watching the Kaplan videos, they stimulate your visual memory as well as your auditory memory. And as you know, about 40% of people retrieve information better through videos, right? So that's why it's wise not only to use textbooks only when you're studying, but to use videos as well. So as to what? Stimulate the visual memory and the, uh, the audio memory as well. So they're good uh, for preparation for classes and they will enable you to impress your teachers, you know, in the hospitals there or in the university, okay? And also the Kaplan videos are actually presented by top class and board certified lecturers. I'm pretty sure most of you know guys like Conrad Fisher, Charles Fasilis, uh, Carlos Pestano, etc. Okay, so those are the guys that actually produce the Kaplan videos and they're really on point, up to date, and exceptional. Right now, if you want to find uh, the Kaplan videos, you'd have to go to www.kaplan.com and you'll be able to get full access to all the videos. But what I want you to understand is that. Uh, you would have to subscribe in order to have full access to all these videos, okay? I understand the fact that there's some teaser videos that you can find on YouTube, but for you to get full access and all the information, you'd have to subscribe to the Kaplan uh, Academy and uh, pay some money for it, okay? Next platform, the online method videos. That's the logo there, right? The cat with the status card, right? So it's also a series of uh, videos that prepare one for the USMLE 
and iPhone since USMLE and iPhone are brothers okay why online method online method just like Kaplan is up to date right which means the information is really you know uh, it's really modern right as you know medicine is a very dynamic profession okay medicine is always changing the first antibiotic that was discovered was penicillin right but are we using penicillin only right now no we've got a whole lot of other antibiotics that we're using the cephalosporins the macrolides right etc so uh, online method will help you a lot when it comes to that and now online method also it's sharp precise and straight to the point so Dustin Williams the guy that presents the online method videos he never wastes your time okay he just gets straight to the point and tells you what you're going to see specifically in the medical exam right in the iPhone exam so to say so you'd have to pay attention uh, to the things that he says in the videos and also the online method videos prepare you specifically for the exam okay specifically for the exam that's why I'm telling you that the online method videos are not good when you're preparing for your classes I told you that Kaplan videos can help you very well to prepare you know for the classes like in the university and at the hospital but for online method videos do not use them to prepare for classes just use them specifically to prepare for the exam because they're short precise and straight to the point right and one of the advantage about the online method videos is that all the videos are free okay so just get on Google type www onlinemethod.org and uh, you'll be able to gain full access to all the videos of online method for free so you do not need to pay a penny okay now lastly I'll talk about the review textbooks okay but before I do that I have to explain something to you in uh, the medical sphere there's something that we call review textbooks right like most of the boards and step up to medicine and then we have what we call reference textbooks there's a difference review textbooks are textbooks that, pre uh, that prepare you specifically for an exam right but reference textbooks are the textbooks that you use to prepare for class they're the textbooks that are used to increase your knowledge they're the textbooks that are mainly used by uh, used by specialists for example in the internal medicine section we have Davidson's or Harrison's you are not supposed to use those textbooks to prepare for iPhone no you're supposed to use master the boards or step up to medicine because those textbooks are just too voluminous okay but these review textbooks are just straight to the point they just one two three you get the concept you go to the exam and you ace it okay then for surgery we have Bailey and Love right do not use Bailey and Love to prepare for the exam just use it when you're going for classes and to increase your medical knowledge for OBS and Gynae we have uh, Williams right and uh, it's a reference textbook as well you're not supposed to use it to prepare for the exam and for the surgery department we have Bailey and Love right it's a reference textbook you are not supposed to use it to prepare for the exam but you are supposed to use it to improve your knowledge okay now like I said review textbooks are meant to prepare you specifically for the exam so we've got two of them master the boards and step up to medicine I personally used step up to medicine so it's my preference right but if you go online and check for some reviews from other students from the United States Canada etc there's a big debate it's like 50 50 most of the bot is really good and step up to medicine is really good so it's up to you okay so why are these review textbooks like I said they're great reviews from previous users okay 
They are short, they are precise, and straight to the point. Right? So when you open these textbooks, for example, step up to medicine, you just see that it's written in point form. Okay, what is myocardial infarction? Myocardial infarction is one, two, three. Diagnostic tests, one, two, three. Clinical presentation, one, two, three. Treatment, one, two, three. If sure, nothing else, okay? Also, the review textbooks are up to date, okay? And that's what you need. You do not want textbooks that are going to be telling you about trepanation, right? Like drilling of, like, you know, a hole in the skull so that some evil spirits can, you know, exit through that hole. Yet all you were supposed to do to treat that flu is to just take Oseltamivir, okay? Also, these two review textbooks, Master the Bots and Step Up to Medicine, they have bot style questions with accurate and insightful explanations. Okay, so you can read the concepts and you can uh, use like the questions that you found in the textbooks to check whether you understood the knowledge that you were reading. Then also, the last point is, these textbooks, they, they ensure a little bit of success in classes as they enhance the understanding of medical concepts and uh, medical algorithms as well. But of course, for you to get more knowledge, you would need some reference textbooks for that, right? So in summary, how are we supposed to use uh, UWorld, Ambos, the videos and the textbooks? Okay, take your step up to medicine, read a chapter in cardiology, it should take you about one day, max, right? Finish the cardiology section in a step up to medicine, and then afterwards, review the cardiology section using online method videos, since they're short and precise. And then uh, after doing all that, go straight to UWorld or go straight to Ambos and practice the questions, since the key is in the practicing of questions more. Okay. Thank you so much for your attention.